Hey friends. I'm not gonna lie. Today I feel like I'm bad at my job. Um, I just didn't know what to do today. Um, one of the kids at camp, who is just very, very sweet, sweet young lady, her brother was shot yesterday. I don't know what to do about that, how to make it feel better. She spent a lot of the day just kind of crying in the office, because even when you didn't want to push her too much, um, her brother is okay. It looks like he's in the hospital, but they can't find the <clears throat> second bullet that he was shot with. There's, there's two in them, somewhere, but they can't find the second one. It's scary, and she is terrified. And I'm gonna be honest, I already didn't have a great relationship built with her. Like she's a good kid, and I was kind of focusing on the balance of some of the kids that weren't behaving quite as well. And I like her. She's she's nice and she's sweet, and um, she just doesn't want anything to do with me. I don't have a way to help her. And tomorrow. Um, me and my co-counselor kind of talked about this. If she needs a couple minutes to compose herself or to just feel sad for a while, it's okay, but she can't spend big portions of time in the office crying um, and grieving, which I understand that she's grieving. I do, and I feel for her. And I want things to be good for her and for her family. But she's a summer day camp to have fun and to kind of forget about things. And to help her grow up to be a better person. And she wasn't capable of that today, we understood. But she can't spend most of the day tomorrow in the office. We just don't have the manpower for it in the actual office. Um, and that's, that's okay. Sometimes that's going to happen. And like I had another kid who's always been really, really good until last Friday when uh, he gets into the office for fighting another boy. He got into fight with the same boy today. And he's always in such a good heart. He has like, you know, some problems with focus and attention, but that's not too unusual for kids his age. And he, he has suspended from camp today. When you go to the office twice in a day, you get suspended for the day. It was at the end of the day, so we really just sat in the office for the last like 45 minutes or something. But he ran away when he thought he was going to the office at the second time. Because he was terrified and he ran into the street and I just, I didn't know what to do. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm not good enough for these kids. I know it's where God's placed me and I know it's where I'm supposed to be. I don't know how to help any of them. I'm not really doing great with any of them, it feels like. Because I thought, I thought that the kid that had run away, he'd build a really good connection. He has such a good heart, even if he doesn't have the best attention. And I thought, maybe this would be okay. And there's another little guy who just vitrally yells. He's a volatile person and he just yells. At me over and over again, he hates me. And he was just one that, you know, I love you anyways, and I do, I love him, but I don't like to be hated still. Like, it feels, I feel terrible for almost every interaction with this kid. And sometimes it's great, sometimes he's reading, he just wants me to read him a story, and he's like, sometimes he'll just come up and hug me randomly, but I just, I have him every day me and he wishes he never had to come back and that he hopes I die in a volcano isn't it's not really doing anything for me it just makes me feel terrible and that's that's what he wants so I can't show that to him like these kids are breaking me it feels like sometimes but I've had so many good moments it's just that today today was a Monday I'm sure will be better tomorrow on our field trip Oh, but I hope they're better tomorrow on their field trip. We will, we'll do our best. I'll do my best. God, please help me do my best. 
I can't do any of this alone. I can't do any of this alone at all.